Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I wish that your day is going to be a happy day, inshallah, and prosperous day to all of you, wherever you are, whenever you are. Today is nearly coming to a zero temperature in uh, London, in, in, in UK here. I wish that you have a better weather than us. Our talk today is about development and nakedness. Some of you might look at, as I mentioned in the promo yesterday, what is the relationship between development and nakedness? Nakedness is, could be a shameful thing to be done by anyone, whether it's a male or female. The one who will walk outside his house or her bedroom naked, people might look at her or him as looking at them and thinking that they are insane, they are sick, they are mad, they are rude, they are vulgar, they are doing an act of indecency. And as we have seen in quite a few football matches, young man or young woman were running in the playground and they've been taken by the police to the police custody because this is an act of indecency. This act will take you into becoming a vulnerable individual. Vulnerable from anybody and everybody. And it might lead to an act of rape. They're raping the man or raping the woman. So what does this to do with development? My statement is those who do not believe in development and development, developing their countries, their society, their community, their organization, themselves, are like those naked people who are very vulnerable and lost their mind. This is the relationship. If you don't believe that God has created you and show you development in your growth, that means that you have something wrong with your mind. In your mind, becoming sick, maybe. So I thank, first of all, my colleagues, Abdurrahman and Ahmad Sheikh, for helping me. I put some definitions of my own because I want every and each one of you, young men and young women, to be confident enough to put your definition according to what you believe in the subject that you are going to teach or that you are going to learn from. There's no harm of you is putting your definition. There's no one size can fit all. People have put many definitions for development in the good old days. But why not you put your own definition? So some of this definition, I will read it for you. It's sustainable process of growth. When you look at our body, it's growing, developing from infancy, childhood, teenage, manhood, becoming an old man, and so, and so, and so. And this sustainable through the process inside the body. If we don't learn from the sustainable growth of our body, there's something wrong with us. It's a process of change from a stage to a better stage. We cannot be the same forever. We have to develop, to change, to enable the second generation to come to be better than us. From destruction to construction. You went to a deserted area. There's nothing there. You have to build it from scratch or you have to refurbish or you have to reconstruct it again from ignorance education. So I'm trying to go through all these definitions to let us know that development has got more than one angle, more than one dimension, more than one aim and program. From ignorance to the education. If my father could not be able to read and write, 
in the good old days, he has him and my mother to prepare me for the generation that I'm going to face to be challenged by its dynamics. From poverty to richness. Now we are poor. Are we going to stay, to stay poor all, of, all the time? Are we going to live and die as poor people? No. We are going to change. We are going to change. This process of change is what we call it development. From backwardness huh, to advancement. One day we did not have, we used to write by hand, by pencil, by pen, then typewriter, then computer, then laptop, then, 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 then. Okay? From dependency to independence, we used to be relying on somebody else. Enough is enough. I have my own resources, whether natural resources or human resources. I have to utilize my resources in the citizens in the, in the, in the citizen in the country, and each citizen in the country have a lot of resources and potential. From being follower to becoming a leader, when are you come? When are you become? Or are you going to become a leader? When? Why you are always following people? So my process of development in this, in this means that I have to, have to create young leaders. Where I, while I'm there in my company, in my society, in my organization, in my country as a leader, to prepare them for the second phase of the second generation and the third generation. From being listening to be listened to. Yes, one day you will speak. But before you speak, you have to understand how can you deliver an articulate speech to the other people. So listen to the others. See what they are talking, are talking about, how they perform, why they perform, where they perform, to whom they perform. Then you start confidently to become a speaker. And this is what I have done on my personal capacity when I started to travel to attend many international conferences at least for two or three years. I was listening to the speakers in different closed rooms till I became a speaker. My first public speech in English was in Aston University, I think in the early 80s, when I was giving khutbah, Jum'ah. And this is the best way to train you because nobody in the room will stop you, even if you say something where you might not agree with it. From receiving to giving, why I should be able stretching my hand and receiving help from others? I have to become one day as somebody who can give to others. This is development, changing your situation, changing your condition, changing your lifestyle. From lost, being lost. I am lost. I lost my mind. I, to consciousness. You should, to, should be aware of what's happening in the surrounding. Not to detach yourself and put yourself in a ghetto. No, this is not right. From corruption to reform. If we have a corrupt society... With a lot of corrupting people, corrupt people running the such, we have to make a reform to reconstruct and to make advancement in our society, to build it. From research to innovation, what, why are you doing the research for? To say that I've published this paper? No. Research means innovation. Research means discovery. Research means new theories. Research means advancement. This is the research, going to use the research to create the, innov uh, the, the, uh, the innovation process. From work to production, I'm working, 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 doing what? What is the outcome of my working in the factory or in the company or in the organization? What? You have to have a product at the end of the day. And you have to have a tangible product. This cup, inside it, there's a coffee with milk, 
huh, with water. So my product could be the cup, my product could be the milk, my product could be the coffee, my product could be the water. Working, you have to find the end product of your work. From recession to marketability, yes, our country is in a recession. How can I elevate, take them from this process of recession into marketability and to compete in the open market? This is development. All these different dimensions and angles of development is what we need to understand. Development is a program, it's not a project made out of many projects. Each project is covering one sector of the aspect of life of human being in a, in, a, in, in, in a village or in a community. Say it water, if we go to a village, could be somebody could look after water, education, health, sanitation, uh, uh, sports, and so on and so on. Uh, market, and all. you put all these different projects long-term project, in a package, in a program, and this will be the process of development as a program. Development is not just one project you go and finish in six months or one year. No, it is a complexity of multitude of different projects to meet together to develop the society that we are working in. From handicraft to industry, I have got very skillful people very skillful in carpentry, in weaving, in agriculture, in, um, in, 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 in uh, what do you call it, in, uh, in blacksmiths, goldsmiths, all these kind of things. But I want to get these skillful people as individuals and to move them from the status of working at home to the status of having a workshop, to the status of having a kiosk, the status of having a workshop, another workshop, or smaller workshop, bigger workshop, then factory, then to make them to create the industry. This is the vision of going from the set of the skillful individual, male or female, into building the industry. From learning huh, to knowledge. I keep learning to be the knowledgeable one. So to teach, learn, add knowledge, and teach. From training to empowerment, you train for me for what? One of my young uh, uh, colleague, a female, she was working in a very advanced, very, very developed organization. And she is saying, they have been training us for what? Many, every day they are training, 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 training. But there is no scope for them to rise because there is no jobs for them in the higher level. From training to empowerment, from asking to donating, I mentioned this before, from theory to measures. You keep talking about theories, theories, theories. How can you measure your success afterwards? From proposition to practice. I propose you this, this, this. Okay, خلاص, go and practice your proposition and get me the outcome of what you are doing. From oppression to justice. In a society which is controlled by dictatorship, we have to take it from oppression to justice, from dictatorship to freedom, from discrimination to equality, and from exclusion to inclusion. This is the different kind of development which I want each and every one of you look at, at development as a comprehensive process of elevating the society or the community or the country or the nation okay or the sector or the industry from stage A to stage B C till Z don't set doing nothing to advance the society you are working with how to understand development there's natural development and there's human resource development. Both of them are very important. For me, human resource development is extremely crucial for me. Because the human being is the most precious uh, asset of any society. What do we mean by natural development? The ability of developing and improving the natural resources such as gas, agriculture, water, livestock, so on, so on, so on, so on. Human resources, comprehensive advancement and development of human capability in different aspects of life, scientific, humanitarian, social, through, through raising public awareness. Public awareness is extremely important for everybody. 
in different aspects of life. These are the understanding development. Different types of development. There are six or seven types of comprehensive development. What does it mean? To develop the whole nation, either in economy, okay, or in social or political. To develop the whole nation through a comprehensive economical or political programs is all together. To find a long-term solution that makes such social climate change surrounding such a nation. Yani, in, in this comprehensive development, what you are developing is the climate surrounding the individuals to let them to understand better that what's happening in the society, what societies need, what the outside world needs from you. Sustainable development. Uh, it's a productive ability linked to economical activities. Productive ability, your productive ability, my productive ability connected to the uh, economical activities through using the natural resources, our natural resources. Because if I am relying on my natural resources, I'll be able to have sustainable development. It's not importing from outside. Integrated development, using the modern scientific methodology in different management and technical, technological fields to raise the standards of people. Integrated development, using the modern scientific methodology in different management and technological fields to raise the standards of people. Number four, specific, specialized development. Yeah, I want to develop this sector or this profession or this uh, uh, area. Speci specifically focused on some sectors, particularly social, urban, economical, and others. Yeah, and you are specializing in certain areas. Economical development, finding major economical solution through implementing different radical process, processes and procedures of change. Economical development, finding major economical solution through implementing different radical processes and procedures of change. Social development, which is developing different components of society as citizens, groups and the individual citizens, group organizations, private sectors, institutions, social institutions, and government institutions. Yeah, but social development is started with developing different components of society, individual, organization, groups, political, social, and so on, so on, so on. Political development, creating political system and procedure to be able to meet such systems and procedures in the development countries. And look at this country as a model for you, and they said, I would like to be like X country. How did they do it? You can do it this way. Democracy is not one size fits all. It could be very good in India. I take the Indian model. It could be very good in Turkey. I take the Turkish model. It could be very good in, in England. I take the, the uh, Britain. I take the British model. And so on. Administrative development. Making real and effective changes in the different administrative administrations and their procedures. The, uh, the changes in the administration itself. The bureaucrat. This will lead to positive moral and the behavioral changes amongst people. These are the seven types of development. I say them again: comprehensive development, sustainable development, integrated development, uh, uh, specific, specialized development, economic development, social development, political development, and administrative development. What do we need to do this? First of all, you as a young man and young woman, that's why I'm targeting you, you have to believe in what you are doing. You have to believe in what you are doing. Second point is your mother and the father at home and the school, the upbringing process. How can we bring up those young generation to enable them to become a developers in their society? Education and learning process is crucial. This is number three. Without knowledge, without education, without learning, you cannot develop the country. Then you become confident in what you are doing. 
because they are being trained huh? and being empowered by the school, by your mother, and by the society surrounding you. Then investing in your capability and your capacity. And this will be from home to the neighborhood to the local or community organization to the mosque and the church to the school to the media. So actually they building my capacity through this process of change. Simplicity. Development is not a difficult uh, things to do. Give me some very simple procedure to follow. Freedom space. The more freedom space we have in our countries and our societies, the more we become, we'll be able to become developers. The empowerment of civil society sectors, the strong civil society organization, the independent civil society organization, the security and stability of the country. These 10 points are very important for development. Training, enabling and empowerment of every citizen in the country. Building partnership. Learning from experience and from experience of others. Investing in skills training, vocational training and handicraft training. Discovering skilled, pioneering and innovative youth. Youth, you, we invest in you. Building local economy through, through establishing local markets, community farming, and workshops, preparing successive plans for leadership, having no exclusion policy, empowering youth and women, adopting recycling policy in the country, then no despair or depression strategy. No despair. I mentioned them again. What do we need for development? Believe, upbringing, learning education, confidence, building the capacity and the capability, simplicity, the freedom space, civil, strong civil society sector, civil society organization, strong and independent, secure and stable society, training, enabling and empowerment of the citizen, building partnership between one another and between different organizations, learning from experience of others and our own experience and failure, Investing in skills, training, vocational training, handicraft training, discovering skilled, pioneering and innovative youth, building local economy through establishing local market, community farming and small workshop, preparing successive plans for leadership. I should not be in the, in the position of leader forever. Having no exclusion policy, having no despair and no depression strategy, Empowering youth and women adopting recycling policies. These are my views. Making it very simple for you young men and young women. And I encourage all of you. If you want to do your own way of development. This could be the new innovative method. To listen to your definition. To listen to your methodology. To listen to, listen to see your procedures and policy. And to learn from you. Don't only learn from somebody like myself. I make this effort to tell you one thing. You are the best developer of your society. You are the best developer of your country. You are the best developer be of humanity as a whole. Why not be? Having the confidence, having the capacity, having the drive, and having the ambition. Make your own definition and don't be naked. Because people will call you names, will attack you, maybe will rape you, and maybe will kill you. Thank you very much. In 10 minutes time, at 8.40, inshallah, we'll do it in Arabic. Jazakumullah khair. It's 8.48 hours, after 10 hours or 11 hours, we'll do the same thing in Arabic. If you want to follow my name on Twitter, Facebook, uh, and Instagram, there's no YouTube, no YouTube. You're most welcome, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. See you in 10 minutes, inshallah.